So let's hear what Dr. Jane Orion has to say about my allegation that there is a relationship between the viral epidemic that is spreading among school children in America and the gross importation of 50 to 80,000 illegal alien children over the summer. Dr. Dr. Orion, thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Well, thank you. Thank you, Michael. And thank you for bringing up this question, which should be pretty obvious. And you have outlined the way that we can get the answer to the question. But as far as I know, the CDC is not doing that. That is to compare the exact strain of the virus that is admitting children to hospitals in this country with the with the strains that are prevalent in Central right. So, Dr. Orient, plain and simple science, medicine, epidemiology would say, okay, we really want to know why this outbreak's occurring. Let's look at the strain of virus that these children are becoming infected with, and let's compare it with something we know about. And since there's a reason to conclude that it may be related to flooding America with children who were put into this country over the summer, you would want to compare it with the viruses in their home country. Wouldn't that make sense? Well, you certainly would. And you would like to know where the where the patients being admitted to the hospital came from and what their contact history has been. And you might want to look at the schedule of charter flights in this country between places like Brownville, Texas, and Tucson, Arizona, nonstop flights, filled with illegal aliens, and then from Tucson, they go to other destinations. You might just want to look at the map of where the flights land and where the hospital admissions are and see whether there might be an association. Dr. Orient, this is commonsensical, but yet we have a government that's operating in the secret and in the dark. They will not even disclose where they dump these children. Do you know that? They won't give out the cities, the counties, the states, and the schools in which they were put? No, and this is really very, very disturbing. I mean, it's it's always been known that if you allow big influxes of immigrants into the country, you are allowing new public health threats of diseases that are not familiar here. I don't think American physicians have ever heard of enterovirus 68. And we're even getting conflicting reports from AMA Morning Rounds. Uh, recently, they talked about this polio-like virus that was causing children to be paralyzed and not recovering from it. And then the same virus, enterovirus 68, they're talking about the severe respiratory virus that's landing children, especially if they have, have asthma, right in the intensive care unit, unable to breathe. So it's, it's just, this is, this is a major public health disaster. Yes, it's a major it's public not- health disaster caused directly by the uh, La Raza and the other pressure groups that are forcing the president to dump the to bring the children in, but this will be magnified if they grant the amnesty because we don't know how many people will come in who are diseased. Well, it, it's just not a good idea to do away with the screening of immigrants that had been done back in the old days when our ancestors crossed the Atlantic. It's just crazy. I mean, the, this is one problem. Multi-drug-resistant tuberculosis may be the most serious problem. Whether it has anything to, to do with Ebola, I'm not sure. But certainly, if you wanted to introduce a deadly virus into the United States, one way to do it is to send a carrier with it across the border and drop him off at the bus station in Phoenix, Arizona, or someplace else. Dr. Orient, there's another subject that's deeply disturbing to me, and that's Obama announcing he's going to be sending U.S. military personnel to Africa to aid in the control of Ebola. You and I both know that makes no sense. Doesn't that put our military personnel at risk to contract Ebola? When they come back, and, you know, the incubation period may be as long as 25 days, they may spread the virus here. Or even if they get it there and recover, there have been cases of transmission months after recovery. So they may have a chronic carrier state for the virus. Unbelievable. Everywhere you turn, there's a topsy-turvy world. And there are no people in charge who are willing to step out and say, wait a minute, this is dangerous. The CDC has become nothing but a political arm of this administration. DHS is nothing but basically a stooge front for the Obama administration and the the amnesty crowd. How do we, the people, react to this other than to say, we're going to vote in November, we're going to change the Congress, and pray to God the Republicans don't continue to do this. Dr. Orion, I want to thank you for taking the time and being brave enough to speak out on the Savage Nation. I really mean that. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, for speaking out to yourself.